that too. Listen, I, I want to talk to you about something before yeah, I go son, away. Son, 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 son. We already know about the weed. Okay. Your mother wasn't happy about it, but I reminded her what we were into in college. Not a big deal. As long as you're being responsible and it doesn't affect your studies. No. Honestly, son, I would be more concerned about you using protection. Ian! Well, I'm serious. <laughs> what are you asking him to be responsible? You have no idea the world he's about to enter into. Dad. I mean, oh, I, is that so? Yeah. Oh, and what would you know about that? Mom. What happened in college stays in college. I think I have cancer. What? Just kidding. I'm only gay. They rarely tell this story from this perspective. It's a well-structured screenplay with a great character arc for the father. And I love the family dynamic. This one's really sweet. Um, the story or the plot, it's nothing uh, we haven't seen a few times. Uh, it's almost in trope territory. You have a son coming out to his parents, the father being somewhat macho, doesn't accept it. And, uh, you know, who, father ends up being the protagonist of the story. Uh, changing by the end, but the way they go about it in this film, I think it's just really well done. It's sweet. It's well written. Um, a lot of the things that are said, like just, they just feel really believable, which is great. Um, and the, uh, the bit at the end there where the, you know, the son calls the father, the Nancy, I thought was just brilliant just tied it all together uh just made you feel good and uh yeah it's the kind of um ending you'd hope for in in this story that i know applies to so many people out there in the lgbt community i cried at this movie i thought the the son the actor was really good um the dad had amazing um scene in the car where he's losing it and he's doing all these uh, he's yelling all these expletives that are super inappropriate, goes to work, he's taking on his co-worker that he just found out that his son is gay. And the way he says it is, I have cancer, instead of, <clears throat> the way he says it is, I have cancer. And no, it's okay, I'm just gay. And I remember a movie uh, called Still Magnolias, and they kind of allude to that. So I thought this was really honest, really well done. Um, I thought the actors did a great job. And yeah, I, I teared up to this. So. I thought this one was a love and lovely celebration of openness and acceptance. And it was awesome to watch this story where the three different actors did a great performance. It was very loving and caring. And it I love the script because it goes where mm, this type of stories usually don't go. and they explore this different ex struggle for the three characters and it was a nice and refreshing dialogue between different the parents and then the kid and the parent and it was very nice I really enjoyed this one Wow that is a very impressive piece of filmmaking wonderful script wonderful performances wonderful film you know um, filmmaking uh, cinematography the direction the editing, man, just an incredibly polished uh, piece of work. And then uh, just an incredibly powerful piece of work. The emotions that he evoked and the storytelling was just, you know, as tight as it could be. So congrats to the filmmaker. The emotions during the film Nancy were really complex. Um, I actually had to watch it twice to fully digest everything. The boy who came out, he came out in a very bold and confrontational way. Um, however, I definitely do understand the tactic because it's a hard thing to do. Um, I'm team mom. She was fierce and she had his back. Um, I was so angry at his father, however, also moved by the performance of his father at the end, uh, which was such a relief and a release of emotions. Um, the scene actually made me cry twice. Um, and I honestly felt like the tension of the son through the father. And um, I'm glad that the day ended pretty perfectly for all, uh, all involved. It was an amazing coming out story. It was touching. The acting was fantastic. And the punchline, I was wondering from the beginning, Nancy, who's Nancy? And then, then they hit you with the joke at the end. It was fantastic.
Um, great way for the, the movie to end. Really enjoyed the whole thing. The father in this film made such a huge character arc by the end. Um, I mean, I really believe throughout the whole film that his behavior was a result of his anger and resentment towards his son um, in regards to his sexuality, but really it was resentment for himself and he was struggling with all of the ways that he had felt, all of the ways he felt he had let his son down over the years. Um, he reflected on all of the problematic things that he had done in the past and now that now he's realizing that his words and his actions have consequences um, and seeing it from a different lens, you know, it's hitting a lot closer to home than he thought. Um, I thought the last scene was really, really amazing. Um, the father, as someone who clearly really values machismo and masculinity, seeing him breaking down into tears with his son was so vulnerable and really beautiful to yeah, see. Yeah, I really like this piece. What was so interesting to me was kind of the like the visual style of it. I don't know if this makes sense, but it it felt like a network television show. I think it uh, like I was wondering kind of why, and I think it you know it comes down to the lighting and the like very minor like shaky camness of it. Um, but most importantly, I think the two main things were the the aspect ratio, like it was like very sixteen nine, and then the placement of the camera, like there was no kind of like, uh, and not for not to critique it in any way, but there wasn't like mer very much like variance in like how far the subject was from where the camera was placed, and like you know, uh, so like basically when uh the dad like pushes the guy up against the lockers at work um you know the camera's there it's, it's waiting for it there's no kind of like uh like it's it's pretty utilitarian and clear i think that's what like makes this thing so strong was the clarity and you know the emotional performances were really uh really strong as well and yeah and it was i i thought it was shot like beautifully um so yeah i really dug it continue with this style the thing that i really found that stuck with me the most during this film is how shaky all the camera work was and to me it felt like it really placed well and it felt very intentional um, with all of the different emotions that were playing through the film and how unsteady the main character felt the entire time um, so to have a very unsteady um, camera line the entire time was really interesting and it actually helped add to the emotion for me personally and to kind of add to the feeling that like you could see being played out through the entire film and his like the emotions that he was working through